there guys, Goku here, and welcome back to another installment of Goku Reacts. Today, we are reacting to Re Rising Fist. I'll base it isn't right? Rising Fist. This is Vegeta and Bulma's final moments. Uh, the full story, I've seen the one where Goku grows old. He made that video. It was very emotional, so now I'm going to be reacting to this video for all of you. Links to the original video are in the description down below. Go support the official release. Now, without further ado, let's get into this, shall we? Here we go! Vegeta, Prince of the Saiyans. His race destroyed, and yes. his entire life spent enslaved by another. These experiences produced a cold, ruthless warrior who cared only for combat, conquest, yes, and proving indeed. himself to be the strongest. But one day, because of Vegeta would meet a woman of from Earth named Bulma, an inventor. Over the years, she would slowly melt away his cold outer shell and turn the prince into a man who would Even sacrifice me. himself for the ones he loved. A man who would risk his life to keep yes. his promise to a friend. Yes. Bulma and Vegeta have formed an unbreakable bond. They are Dragon Ball's most iconic, yet most unlikely couple. Today, I am happy to present my newest original story. A story that explores their final moments together Let us do this. in life. Well, look who decided to come and visit his old lady. It's good to see you, son. You haven't changed one bit. <laughs> well, Dad tells me Saiyans start showing their age around 80 or so. I guess that means I'll be looking pretty different when you see me again. Yeah. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> Tell me, what were you doing all the way out on Beerus's planet? Well, Mom, there's a reason I came back this time. I I'm not in trouble again, don't worry. I just needed to see the Omni King, the one who erased my reality. Ever since my timeline was erased, I've been living in a reality that isn't mine. There's even another version of me there, and other versions of people that I knew. Yeah, you, you fucked up, Chugs! Of me. Every time I see them, Twice! I'm reminded that I failed them. Stop meddling so with I, time! I asked Whis to take me to see the Omni King from my timeline, the one who now resides here at yours. I begged him to restore my reality, to restore the trillions of lives lost that day. But he refused. What you seek is the power of the Super Dragon Balls, correct? Know this. The power of the gods will not be used to rectify the callousness of mortals. The erasure of your reality was a necessary act. And you will live with your failure. Black and Zamasu. Their actions were a direct result of my interference with the time stream. I've lived every day of my life since then knowing this to be the truth. In my heart, I knew exactly what the Omni King's answer was. I know. You can't. I you cannot live try. with your failure. And what did that leave you, Trunks? Lost. Back to the because Omni King. Me, they never had a choice. These so-called gods, they... Uh, Son, come with me. There's something I need to show Don't get pissed you. at them because you fucked up, Trunks. You screwed up. Live with it. Like, you know, Mama Bum was going to try and help because There's a mother always here. wants to help her son, no, that just even though it's the foolish. Device still works. It's foolhardy. Mom, this is amazing. But why have an entirely separate compound constructed in we'll seclusion? We'll cut trunks of slack. He did come I mean, back to help lab us. I mean, city's already private enough, At least one time. isn't it? Those are good questions, son. Let's get down there. Mom, have you been fucking exactly up, too? Why. I see. So this dome completely masks the energy signature of the Earth's Dragon Balls. That's correct. With scumbags like Frieza still out there, it is safe for the balls to be left completely unguarded. However, I didn't construct this entire compound for that reason alone. Over the years, our enemies have gotten more and more dangerous, and brute strength hasn't always been enough to keep the Earth safe. After every battle, the Dragon Balls were always there to reverse the damage caused, but yeah. what if one day... They weren't enough. Unlike the Super Dragon Balls, the power of the Earth's Dragon Balls have clear limits. Realizing this, I constructed a machine designed to amplify the power of our Dragon Balls. This machine even allows us to bypass well, the one year waiting time between wishes. I thought that this way, 
Even if the gods refused to help us, we'd have the power to help ourselves. We might even have the power to bring back a destroyed universe. That's enough. Mom, I know what you're suggesting, but this isn't right. Bringing back an entire universe, no, an entire reality, the repercussions could be enormous. I've seen the damage interfering with time and space can cause, and after today, there you go. Now, now that I have there to you go. mistakes. You're right, son. Uh huh. I used to think that some magic wish granting balls like would get me youth. exactly what I wanted in life. <laughs> I even used yeah. them to stay young for a little bit. You could have just wish for kidding. eternal youth, you know. But I realized life isn't about trying to control or fix everything. No matter how hard we try, we're not perfect. True. A life worth living doesn't need to be. Let the past be the past, son. Don't let it make you lose sight of what you have. Thanks, Mom. Let's go, Trunks. Seriously, how did Frieza get here, though? That's what I want to know. How the hell did Frieza infiltrate so, this? This is where that filthy Earth Woman's been keeping them. I must say, I didn't expect her to be capable of this much. <laughs> so then, why don't and I put this machine of course, to the Frieza. Test? I'll see you again, son. The sky. What's going on? It can't be. Shenron! I've got to get to the lab. It shall now shall be. Uh, what in the universe is going on here? Uh oh. Yeah. Jeet! No! Uh, what? Hey, Pycon! Vegeta, Shenron's been summoned. Uh, any idea what's going on? The hell if I know, Kakarot. But I know this much. It seems that whatever is happening isn't just affecting the Earth. It extends far beyond that. I don't get it. Shenron shouldn't be capable of this. Vegeta! Boba, stay back! I can help. I made that machine, and I know how to shut it down. What? Oh, come on! You are the one responsible for this? What were you thinking, woman? Don't yell at me. I wasn't the one who did this, all right? No one was even supposed to know about this place. That tower amplifies the power of the Dragon Balls, so that means this is only happening because somebody wished for it. It feels like reality itself is being ripped apart. Freeze What it! kind of... Bastard would wish for this. Kakarot, we don't have time to waste. We need to take out that tower. <laughs> right. Yeah! Vegeta, your wife has broken the law of the gods many a time in the past. This time, the entire fabric of reality was nearly ripped apart. She is a threat to the multiverse, and as such, she will be erased from existence. Grand Minister, it, it wasn't her fault. It was- She was the one who created the machine, was she not? Regardless of how it was activated, a thing capable of such destruction, it's- Okay, that's true, but come on, I'll cut her some war. slack. No, please, my lord, I assure you, this will never happen again. The machine was destroyed, and her research as well. If a life must be paid to settle the debt, then take my life! Do you really think so lightly of the gods? We do not haggle as you mortals do, and we will not divert punishment to one who is not at fault. Matters aside, it would be a shame to lose a mortal as formidable as you, and one who has served his universe well. Wait! If you believe that, then let me serve as the destroyer of the seventh universe. 
Lord Beerus has been searching for a successor. I can do it. If you spare Bulma, I will serve for as long as it takes to settle the debt. Is that so? I didn't know you were planning to retire, Beerus. Well, I suppose it has been a few million years. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, I, I was gonna take the job, but I didn't really want to. Vegeta, you, know. you idiot! I'm sorry. I kind of. Wait, maybe I should take the job. Now that I think about it, maybe I should take the job. I could stay in my prime. Eh, what does Vegeta have? Yes, well, I am due to pass the mantle down. And Vegeta After me! Is quite capable, I suppose. You owe me big time for this saying. <laughs> well, anyone would do a better job than you, Beerus. Fine, these terms are acceptable. Vegeta shall become the seventh universe's next god of destruction. If Lord Zeno agrees. Yes, yes, Vegeta the Destroyer. Beerus is the laziest god. <laughs> Whis, kindly restore Vegeta's body to its prime. He won't be a very effective deity in his current condition. Certainly, father. Here's your goatee. How you can keep you? the goatee. So it shall be. The Super Dragon Balls will now be used to repair the damage, and Vegeta shall undergo the ritual of destroyers. In light of this catastrophe, the afterlife will never again be accessible to those in the living world. Needless to say, so they're just imposing that now. Between realms will also be impossible. Lastly, the Dragon Balls will no longer grant him more time. So they're now just deciding they this. Now just today. deciding that crap. Regardless of the circumstances, it seems the day is finally here. Vegeta, are you ready? Wait, if they don't to have any access to the afterlife. That's bullshit. Wait, what did I do? So Bulma screwed me. My chance to see Chi Chi. Now, do what the, the fudge? Supreme Kai, are you ready? Yes, Lord Beerus. No, no, I'm up. No, I'm pissed. I won't be able to get to see Chi Chi no more. When I die. Uh, your power is no doubt formidable, but to be an effective deity. You must attain immortality. Vegeta, your life is now bound to mine. As long as I live, so too will you. Your immortality cannot be undone until you choose your successor. As there can only be one destroyer in the universe, my immortality Wait, is you had immortality? Yours. Consider it my I thought you just lived for a while, gift. a long time. Look at Pyrrhus getting old. I never thought I'd see you wearing that outfit. You feel it almost as well as I do. <laughs> as much as it pains me to say it, you will make a fine yeah, destroyer. Vegeta. Well, I'll probably be an angel. I'm still upset! Now I can't see Chi Chi when I die! Bulma. Technically, I'm, I am my soul, but no. You did it, didn't you? You idiot! I will not let you be that midget slave for eternity! Bulma, Bulma, shut the front door now! the only way! I'm already screwed out of seeing my wife! The deed is done, and a Saiyan will not throw away his pride. <sighs> there you go again with your pride. What does that have to do with anything? I will not throw away my greatest pride! I refuse to let anything happen to you! Understand? Because uh, you can. Why did I say that out loud? How embarrassing! Now kiss her, you fool! Vegeta. No. Sometimes I forget how much you've changed over the years. Bulma, please. Let me do this one thing for you. <laughs> All right, Vegeta. May you rest in peace, Bulma. Because we're not going to the afterlife, damn it! Hey, Vegeta. So you came to visit her too? No. Huh? It's hard to believe she's yeah. gone. Yeah. That's why I'm pissed at her because she screwed me! I know how you feel. When Chi Chi died, I... Do you really think I'm as pathetic as you, Kakarot? I don't need your pity. Well, I was just He's trying always to be a nice. jerk. Let don't have to be such a Vegeta. jerk. <sighs> no matter how long it takes. I'm not crying. Even if I have to wait a million nope. lifetimes. You won't break me, damn you! I I'll be with you again. You won't break me, damn you! I'm still pissed at her! The journey of life can be crippling. Shut up! It can beat us down Shut up! into the worst version of ourselves. But along the way, nope. we meet people You're not gonna break me! People who are loyal. No! Who stand by us no matter what. If fortune favors you, 
and you find such a person, hold on to them. Oh, you, you gotta hit me with the memories. Oh, why did you do that? Come on, Rising Fist. Come on. Damn you. Oh. Oh, Rising Fist. That was not cool. That was not cool, Rising Fist. Well, I hope you're happy. There. I reacted to it. Oh, right. Biz. The ending was good. Plot was a bit contrived. But, you know, it was what it was. I got the message. I enjoyed this video. Tell me what you thought in the comic section down below and what I should react to next. Alright, take care. Bye bye. Guys, the merch store is now open for business so if you want to get your own Melfin Wolf merch be sure to hit up my Muffin merch store and you can look at all the exciting products that we got going there we got we got the uh <laughs> Milfin Wolf shirts we got the well fart in the chamber ugh the fart in the chamber merch we have also the squirt squirt shirt so be sure to go check that out and links to it will be in the descriptions down below all right, thank you guys so much. I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye now. Bye! We are heroes tonight.